Hello and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before I get started, yeah, never mind about all that. I'm just going to read it. Uh, Genesis 3 and 4. And this is the King James Version. Now the serpent was made uh, more subtle than any beast of the field which, the, which Adonai Elohim made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath Adonai said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Adonai hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die, for Adonai doth Know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as the gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave it also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and they and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of Adonai Elohim walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Abraham's I'm sorry, Adam and his wife hid themselves in the presence of Adon Adonai Elohim amongst the trees of the garden. And Adonai Elohim called unto Adam. And said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I hear thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shalt not eat? And the man, and the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And Adonai Elohim said to the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And Adonai Elohim said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed until cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go. And Thus shalt thou eat all of the days of thy life. And I will put enmity, enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto, unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy, thy sorrow and thy conception, and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and they shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. And sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat of the herb of the field. In the sweat of, in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return in, unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam said, Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did Adonai Elohinu make coats of skin and clothe them. And Adonai Elohinu said, Behold, this the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat of the life of and eat and live forever. Therefore, Adonai Elohim sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to 
till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the men, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep way to keep the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4 Sorry, it's still loading. <laughs> And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from Adonai. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Adonai. And Abel and Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And Adonai had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his content continence fell. And Adonai said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, thou shalt not be shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked to Abel his brother, and it came to pass. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And Adonai said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, Sorry, yeah. Cain said unto Adonai, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond upon the earth. And it shall come to pass, that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And Adonai said unto him, Therefore whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And Adonai set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of Adonai, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Arad, and Arad begot Mehu, hello, and Mehulel begot Methuselah, and Methuselah begot Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah. And Ada bore Javal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. And Zillah also bore Tabalking, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tabalcain was Namah. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zila, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding, 
and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son, and he called his name Seth, for Adonai said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began man to call upon the name of Adonai. Well, that was today's read. Yeah. Well, until next time. See ya.